In this rafter program, we're going to calculate um, averages for three test scores. First thing we need to do is drag and drop an input symbol for each of our input variables. And I am going to turn down the screen size a little bit. And we put the um, variable name test test one here and it comes up in rafter with what we had in quotes exactly and then the word get because it's an input symbol the get will be supplied by the rafter program and our variable name test run and we do that the same for variable for test 2 and also for test 3 and cut and paste would probably save a little bit of time here. Three, three, there you go. And the variable name is just three. Now, we uh, also need a variable. We want to calculate the average score, which uses an assignment box. So we can drag and drop double click on it to bring up our box to put in our enter statement and we want to set our variable name average to and here is where we enter the mathematical computation and that would be within parentheses test 1 plus test 2 Plus test three, with this is closed, divided by three. And it comes up and tells us that it's going to do this mathematical computation here. And it's going to put it here in this memory location that stores this variable average. Now, we want to tell the user what the average is, right? So we're going to use an output symbol. Drag it and drop right here. Double click it to bring up the R interface box. It looks like I was a little impatient there. And we're going to put the output in the window. We're going to say that um, the average is and use make sure you put the space in there put your ending quotations another space plus sign that's the concatenation symbol and the variable name average that does not have to be in quotes now we want to test our program well let's add a comment because we want anybody else to that comes along after us to know what this is so we right click the edge of the one of the boxes. Click on comment and we're going to say this program um, obtains three test scores from the user and calculates their average. And say 
you've done. Comments actually don't have to be in quotes. Okay, so we want this is the step program. It will go one symbol at a time, one instruction at a time, and stop after each one. And you can watch over here in the master console box to find out what's going on. If it errors, it'll tell you. And if not, you can also look over here at the master console box to make sure it's running right. Uh, this one with um, is the run symbol. It says execute to completion. That means it'll go all the way through, providing there are no errors. Let's hit that one. And it's asking us for test score number one, and we're going to enter 82. And it's asking us for test score number two, which we will enter 76. Test score number three, we've been hitting the books. We got a 91. Okay. And it tells us over here in the master console that our average is 83, the run is complete, and there were seven symbols evaluated.